Hey guys, what is going on? For today's video, I have some really exciting stuff. So basically, I'm just gonna get right into it. I got some stuff today for, I guess, early Black Friday shopping. First, we'll go ahead and just get into the more boring stuff. I got, in this one over here, a new SD card. I got a new 64 gigabyte, 95 megabyte per second speed SD card. Basically, just wanted to get a higher storage one at a faster rate because of what's in these two boxes. This was like 24 bucks. I think it retails for anywhere for like 45 to $50. And so I thought it was a pretty good deal. And I guess that's pretty much it. Just gonna leave that there. Then, secondly, I got a new lens. I did not do too much research into this lens. I just wanted basically a kit lens. I wanted to get a new kit lens. So inside here should be a refurbished, a refurbished 24 to 105 lens. I got on Amazon for $330. And I believe they typically go for like what, 450 to $500. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty clean to me. And then don't know why it's not zooming in and out. Oh, there's a lock. I knew that. When you unlock it, 105 millimeters, 24 millimeters. This shoots at f3.5 to 5.6. Uh, this is just the IS STM lens. This isn't the L lens. Um, basically, it's a really cheap lens. Got it for 330 bucks, like I said. So pretty good price. The reason why I got that lens is because I'm gonna be selling my old lens. So right now I am shooting with a Canon EFS 17 to 55 millimeter lens at f2.8. And I will no longer be able to use that because inside of this package, I actually have a whole new camera body. Inside of this is the Canon 6D Mark II. So this came out in June of 2017, I believe, at a retail price of $2,000. Since then, the retail has dropped down to $1,800, and it's on sale for typically from $1,600 to $1,800, bucks, but was on sale for even more for $1,300. And I was gonna get that, but then I found a refurbished model on Canon for $1,100. So a camera worth $2,000 in June of 2017, I got it for $1,100, bucks, and I could not pass on that. So here we go, we got it right here the Canon 6D Mark II. This is insane. <sighs> um, let's just set this down here for now. So inside we have little battery charger. Got a battery, I hope this is charged. And then a camera strap that says 6D Mark II, so that way you know you spent thousands of dollars on this. And then other than that, just a bunch of bubble wrap. Now, unfortunately, since it is refurbished, it didn't come in a 6D Mark II box, it came in some random video camcorder box, but that's all good. And then what first was on top was 6D Mark II manual, so can't be too mad at that. And just some paper information, so let's go see if there is a charge on here, because that would be great if I know how to open this one eternity later and it is not charged oh. crap we're gonna have to charge this but i uh, just want to show you guys my little pickup so like i said got the 6d mark ii body from two thousand dollars brand new to eleven hundred dollars refurbished and then i got the 24 to 105 stm lens to go with it so i will be selling my 17 to 55 millimeter because that is an efs lens so it only works on aps-c cameras and so i guess if you really aren't too much into videography or photography this is where you guys can go ahead and end it here but i'm gonna go ahead and talk for just a little bit as to why I got the 60 Mark II. So for you first viewers, um, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. So right now, I'm shooting with the Canon T7i, and it's been a beast of a camera. I've had it since August of 2017 when Brooke convinced me to get it, and so now what, it's November 2018, so I've had it for 15-ish months, and I feel like I've outlived it. You know, I shoot fully manual on everything, and I feel like I've learned everything I need to know, and then I decided I wanted to get a DJI Ronin S. I don't have it yet, but I plan on getting it sometime soon, maybe in the summer when I'm working more hours, but it's actually not compatible with the T7i. So because of that, I wanted to get a new camera box and so I was looking at the compatibility list and I was looking really into the 7070d, the 80d, the 7d Mark II, and the 6d Mark II. And so here's how I went about it. I was really gonna either get the 7070d or the 6d Mark II. Reason for that is the 7d Mark II, I really do like the dual SD card slots and I really like the 65 AF points and the shutter, 
but it doesn't have a flippy touch screen. It doesn't have Wi-Fi. It doesn't have Bluetooth. So I crossed it off my list. Plus it was $1,300. The ADD, uh, it's definitely much better than the 7070 and better than T7i. But um, what I don't like about it was the price. It would have been like 300 more dollars for the T7i just to get like marginal improvements. And so I chose not to go with it. And then the 7070, I was really stuck between that and the 60 Mark II because I could have gotten it for an additional $130 if I had sold my T7i, which wouldn't have been a bad price. But I think that I wouldn't have been able to learn any more than I could um, with the T7i. And I really want to be able to get better as a videographer and as a photographer. So I chose to go with the 6D Mark II just also because of the really good price, like $900 off for basically a brand new camera. Like if there's any issues, I'll be sure to report it. But just off the eye, it looks brand spanking new. And you know, sometimes with refurbished products, they shoot like eight, 20, 50 pictures, maybe tops, and they decide they don't like it or just something else comes up so they return it. They can't sell it brand new. So a camera that was touched for like a hour or so will get sent back and you get it for a ridiculously cheap price. And um, really, I did want the uh, 60 Mark II because it is full frame. So I'll be able to utilize the EF lens to its fullest potential and I'll be able to get better low light performance with the full frame sensor. And I just feel like overall, it's gonna be a much better experience. I feel like I'm gonna be able to learn a lot from this and I'll be able to improve my photography and videography skills. Um, and not only that, but it does have one of the latest processors that has the Digic 7 as opposed to the Digic 6, which was on the ADD. And I think the 70 Mark II is the Digic 5. So it has newer processor, it has Wi-Fi, it has Bluetooth. It does have the tilty flippy touch screen and um, it does have dual pixel autofocus. So it really crosses all of my boxes. And I know what some of you guys are gonna say um, for anyone that knows cameras really well, it does only have one SD card slot, but personally, I've never had an SD card fail me. I find that as long as you get SanDisk, which is why I got a new SD card, that they work really well. There's no headphone jack, but most of the time, I'm never really checking my audio like that. Most of the time I'm shooting by myself or I'll be shooting with friends, but it's not like there'll be anyone else behind the camera. So the headphone jack doesn't bother me. The single SD card slot doesn't bother me. And um, the 4K doesn't bother me at all. Yes, I have a 4K monitor and yes, I have a really powerful gaming computer that can handle a 4K video, but I don't know. It just doesn't really seem like it's for me. I feel like I'm gonna be happier with 1080p because the GH5, it's not for me. I don't think that the color science and the autofocus will really work well. The Sony a7 III, it's really expensive and I'm just not really a Nikon shooter. I really like Canon. People in my family has always been a Canon shooter so I'm just gonna sort of stick with my roots there. And I really don't think that the 6D Mark II will disappoint. And so I guess that's really it. You know, like the 6D Mark II, super freaking amazing price. I think for $1,100, you can't beat this because the ADD was around $800, $900. The 7070d was around $700. And the 7D Mark II was $1,300. So I just really feel like this is super competitive in Canon's lineup and I just feel like compared to other brands I just think that this really might be the best way for me to go And so I'm really excited to use this and run it through its paces and see how it goes And so that'll be the end of the unboxing, you know, just to recap new lens new body new SD card And I'll be sure to update you guys in the future with how everything's going So if you like this video, please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace <laughs>